sometimes you open your pages and you're okay, but other times you get that tell tail sound. Sticky art journal pages is a real problem and it's super normal, but it's also really preventable and even fixable. So let's go over some great ways to stop your sticky art journal pages from sticking. Now my journal is pretty intact. So even though I'm getting some sounds of that stickiness on each page, as you can hear, Luckily, actually, my pages are not ripping, even though it sounds like they're sticking. So while you might be scared of that ripping sound, um, as you can see, actually, all of my art journal pages are completely unscathed. And I have not opened or flipped through this journal in probably, God, maybe even like a year? Like it's been a really long time. So, as you can see, each one is massively mixed media up, and they're all okay. So, how did I make my pages okay? This one was not, but I just taped the crap out of it, and now it is. Okay, so how did I do that? I protected them, all my pages, with a spray sealer, this one. Okay, so this one works. So I just wanted to start what, with what I know does work and then I'll go over some additional products that you, you can use if you're still scared of spraying with a sealer. And by the way, there's many different brands that you can use from fine art to craft. Okay, Krylon is a fine art brand. It makes, it's, it's a great product. Um, Mod Podge is more affordable, but you might see this in your local Michaels or your craft store. That's where I first discovered this one. But if you're searching for one in your country or your area, the keywords that you want to be searching for are clear, acrylic, matte, sealer. Okay, those are the four words you wanna type into your search engine or Amazon or Google to find a spray sealer. And the reason that sprays are so essential, especially for mixed media artists, is that when you're spraying a coat on, you're not going to be reactivating all the layers that you put on underneath, right? So that's huge. So the, this was made with watercolor markers. Well, if I did a brush on, that would all smear my work totally and completely. So doing a spray allows us to lock in everything and it won't smear. There's, you're not applying it with a brush. Okay, and again, clear acrylic matte, matte, matte sealer. If you're doing anything that is glossy or semi-gloss or satin, you're gonna, it's gonna be way, way, way sticky, okay? So that's kind of tip and product number one that I personally use the most. Now, let's go over some other pro products that you can use that are available that you might already have that you're not realizing that you can use for this purpose. Uh, and that would work really, really well. Um, then, so that the first one I want to talk about is Dorland's Wax Medium. So this is a cold wax, and if it's perfect for uh, pages. So even see how these are still so shiny, even though this has all been sprayed with a matte spray sealer, it's still shiny. So if you want to make this or decrease the the uh, the possibility that you could have sticking, you can go ahead and use this wax medium and spread it across your page and I'll show you exactly how you can do that right now. So I'm just using an old dish towel. I'm gonna use my finger. Take a little bit onto your dish towel and a little. Goes a long way and it spreads super nicely and evenly. It sort of feels like Vaseline in a, in a way. Okay, now you would have to be careful if you hadn't, if I hadn't put down the spray sealer and I had maybe some Stabilo that I hadn't already activated, you would have to be kind of careful that you weren't swishing all of your art supplies together during this process, okay? So if you're doing this like over watercolors, be super careful. You don't want to reactivate anything. God, I love her so much. She's so pretty. <laughs> it's fun to, to go revisit your old artworks. Okay, and so 
what will happen is what you can see is that once I've done the whole page, all that sheen will have disappeared. And this is another good product because you can kind of work it in some of these wrinkles. This is tissue paper under here. And so you can see that there's kind of wrinkles, no bubbles, but wrinkles. So you can kind of work it in to your page a little bit. And again, you're kind of like mattifying your whole journal page, kind of working it in. And as you can see, here, I'll just show you one page versus the other. See how it's way less glossy? So here's the unwaxed side and here's the wax side. And it kind of just cuts the edge, cuts that sheen down quite a bit. So you already know that you're decreasing the rip and that stick very well. So even though I'm totally perfectly fine with my spray sealer, if you are, if these are just super, super precious and you just don't want any chance, I did have that one page that did rip, so it can happen. So if you wanna give your art journal pages a little bit more insurance that they're not going to rip, adding a nice coat of this and working it all in is perfectly great idea comes in the really big tub. Okay, and so you can work it all the way in. There's also no reason you couldn't use this on canvases or wood projects also. Okay, but it's just a nice alternative as long as you don't have any water soluble materials. You could also, before you work this in, you could do what I did and spray it with a spray sealer first and then apply it on top, which is exactly what I have done here, right? So you could do this in two steps. You could also spray a fixative, but I really like a sealer versus a fixative. So what's the difference? Well, fixatives are really meant for when you are going to keep working on something. It's sort of like, you're like pressing the pause button on your art journal page or mixed media piece. So you're in the middle of working and you want to kind of freeze your layers or make sure that layer doesn't move, you can spray a fixative and then keep going. So you could spray a fixative before adding the wax, but I still recommend using the sealer because it's just, while a fixative is designed so that you can keep working, a sealer says, I'm done. I'm totally done. I'm gonna seal it. You're locking it in. And a lot of times with fixatives, they're kind of like half as strong as the sealer because you're gonna keep working so it doesn't put the layer, the acrylic layer between your art supply layers, whereas a fixative allows you to like keep going and work within it. So this is not as strong. So if you're gonna use the wax and you're done and you don't wanna move your materials, I would start with a spray sealer and then add the wax on top. And then as you can see, you will have zero kind of ripping noises and yeah, now what I don't like about the wax is that it's like weird, it's kind of like gross feeling, <laughs> to be honest. I don't love it, which is why I don't use it. There's like a weird tactile difference. And I know I've heard people say that like it adds like a nice sheen, uh, not, not a sheen, but like a, like a lovely protective co co um, coat rather. I think it actually kind of dulls it. So I don't love it for that reason either so it's not my favorite but again if you want like ultra protection zero <laughs> stick it really does do the job that you're looking for it to do okay so what other products are there out there okay another great product that you can use to keep the stickiness out of your pages um, is ultra matte Mod Podge, super matte, sorry. Now this is a relatively new product to Mod Podge. Yeah, I love the geniuses at Mod Podge. They're always coming up with amazing products. 
and same thing goes. This is the same situation as the wax, but just a different product and way cheaper than that wax. So what's nice about this, Mod Podge is a great sealer as it is. So the, I would kind of do the same thing. If you have super water soluble products on your art, well, you know what? I think I, because I already sealed this, it's actually beating up. So I've used this on uncoated paper. This has already been spray sealed and I think this is like wants to kind of beat up. So maybe that's something that you could not do. Interesting. Yes, it's beating up. Okay, so that's a good test. I would not use it on pre acrylic sealed surfaces. This is why I test everything. Yeah, I wouldn't use it on that. Fascinating. But you know what you can use it on is for example, because I've already tested this, so I already know. If you have a journal page that is the raw paper, right, or painted with permanent supplies, you have to, again, be super careful when you use any sort of sealer on in your art journal, because if you're using water-soluble materials, you will always get a great big results and I'll show you here. So here could be a good art journal page. Okay. And if I go to add a spray, a brush on sealer, even though this is ultra matte, so I know it would keep my pages from sticking, <clears throat> but you run the risk of activating and smearing those lines which in this case looks really cool. <laughs> so you can also use it as a positive. Okay, so this is like, I actually use this technique in my hamburger mixed media method, which I've taught lots here on YouTube, but you can use that to your advantage as well. But then I'll show you, we're gonna dry this completely. Actually, what I'll do is I'm gonna open this and I will coat both sides. So you can see that when it dries, you can see how matte it is. So this is basically, I love their acrylic spray sealer, but the super matte is even better. But again, you gotta watch out. Now obviously, you can't do the spray acrylic first and then put this on to make it more matte because it's beating up. So it looks like it's being repelled and that's how I would use the wax. So in this case, I think you could use the fixative. I'm gonna test it to make sure. I do a fixative in that case if you didn't want your like stabilo lines to spread like that and then apply it. So let's fix, fix, fix. Let's try that and see if that works as well. But I'm going to finish coating these so you can see how matte it is and to see if there's any stick or sheen that could possibly result in sticking. Okay, so we had our experiment here, which is when we did the brush on. And so you can see my stabilo moved a little bit. Here is the matte on the pages alone. And you can see it's totally dry. There's zero sheen. There's zero sheen on here whatsoever. So the next thing I wanna test is if we can do the fixative and then the matte brush on, okay? So here's our fixative and matte test. So this is the same Stabilo All Pencil, which is super water reactive. And I'm going to, there's a, there's a few different fixatives, and sometimes you can get them that are for specific um, media. So they kind of, they all work exactly the same, which is they basically, again, they're meant for reworking, but this one's like specifically for pastels. This one is perfect for pastels. And then it's also like ink markers, mixed media, kind of everything. I, I don't love the applications of either sealers or fixatives that come in a non aerosol spray, but I know people can be very sensitive to the smells and some people just can't have any sort of aerosol spray product. So I just wanna let you know there is this product available as well. And the Mod Podge Ultra or Super Matte also comes in an applicator like this spray bottle. And I don't like these spray bottles so because they have a very uneven application most of the time. So it, it leaves so many holes, if you will, 
there's no you have sort of drippy areas of big you have a fine spray mist over here and then this is like you know it's like 50 percent of this is coated so it's hard to get it's hard to get a really uniform spray due to the nature of just that spray bottle so here and i'll show you i should not be doing this inside do not do this at, at your own home for the sake of this YouTube video, I will definitely show you. See how that is, that's an aerosol spray. That is 100% coverage. So I do not recommend, even though it, you can't do an aerosol, I would rather you not even use this one and go for a brush on because you just, that coverage is so literally spotty. So I don't recommend the Ultra Mod Podge in this kind of a, of a dispenser or a fixative, you actually end up having to brush it on anyways to fill in the gaps. So you get the kind of coverage that you need. So here, but I do wanna test using just a fixative. Even fixatives, I have to say, can sometimes <laughs> even activate your lines a little bit, kind of makes it a little bit more, see how it like intensifies that Stabilo because even that little liquid, even, even that little liquid is kind of activating that line anyway. So just be aware that that's a thing. So also these can be kind of sticky. That's why people use hairspray, which I do not recommend as a fixative. I never use fixatives in my work. I actually purchase them to do demos and to test them because I get so many questions, but I never use a fixative. <laughs> Ever, like literally ever. If I want to stop uh, something from moving, I always use a sealer. I always use a sealer and then I just keep working on top. But uh, most people do use a fixative. I just hate them. So I'm going to dry this with my hair dryer, make sure it's all nice and dry. And then I'll apply this super matte Mod Podge in a brush just to make sure, again, I buy these to test that it's not going to move. All right, so now that's all dry. And so my test is Again, when I had already had a spray acrylic sealer, the Mod Podge Ultra Matte was repelled. <clears throat> yeah. So, it does a pretty good job. Um, there is a little bit of activation. As you can see. It does, you do get a little smearing. Just as you do when there is, but not as much. And this is why I don't love fixatives. They don't really work as well as I would want them to. I want, if I want that to not move, I don't want it to move. And it's still moving. So it does work in that it's not being repelled because there's no spray sealant there. So it does work over the fixative, but it, you're still smearing it. So does it work over the fixative? I'm not really sure. So in that case, keeping with just the Mod Podge matte or any brand, and then maybe putting the wax medium over it instead to ensure it's locked in, ensure that it's matte would probably be your best bet. If you're like, ew, I don't like the wax medium, like Karen said, it still has like a weird feel on the page. Um, there is also one more option, and let me show you what it is. Uh, this is actually my favorite, and it doesn't really cost anything, and it is nice because, again, this is yucky. It's yucky to me. I don't like that wax. This might be too shiny for you. Just slip a piece of paper between your pages. It's as simple as that. You can put a piece of trace paper if you don't want anything too heavy for whatever reason, although that can be more expensive. Wax paper is great from your kitchen, but that can be really curly, so that can be kind of a nuisance as well as it's very light, and as you turn the pages, it kind of flies around. But just use like a regular printer paper or craft paper. You can cut it to size or buy it the same size as your art journal. And just simply shove a little piece of paper between all your pages and then you will be 100% guaranteed. You won't have sticky. 
it won't stick, it won't feel gross like the wax. You don't have to mess with all the fixatives and the sealants and everything. You're not gonna smear your work. It doesn't cost anything if you just have a piece of computer paper that you shove in between your pages. Nobody ever talks about that option, but it's probably the best option for most people, all things considered. Then you don't need to worry about aerosol sprays. You don't need to worry about this kind of spray can not not spraying effectively over your page. You don't need to worry about your brush wrecking your work lines and it's just really stress-free. So just don't forget about that option as well. I hope this video was helpful. You learned something new today. If there's a glaringly huge omission that I've left out, please let me know in the comments. And if you want to check out um, some of these projects that have been showing from the art journal, click the playlist and you can binge them all. Thanks guys, bye.